going on guys? Spencer here. As you could have tell from the start of the video of how bored I've been since this whole quarantine has started. Uh, it's been pretty bad. Um, been doing a lot of FaceTiming with some friends, playing video games, doing some videos on the st and stuff. Playing with some toys a little bit. I got my Element Enduro all built up. Um, actually associated, got a little... Um, a little gift and so, like a surprise for me with a nice cool pop, painted body uh, fully loaded with the J concept style body with tires and wheels uh, it's been pretty pretty badass um, so thank you guys for hooking me up uh, team associated with element so thank you and also on the other side of things I got my race stuff all ready to go um, this is the RCA B3.2 um, should be going to the track this weekend so privately at Fear Farm uh, but anyways, I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, today's video, I got a cool one for you. We're going to be talking about the two different style radios that Fataba offers. They have to actually have a couple of different um, other options as well. But I'm going to be talking about the 4PM and the Fataba 7PXR. And basically, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is I get a lot of people asking which um, style radio that they should get. Should they buy the more expensive one? Do they need that more um, options to, to do what they're gonna do. Um, and then of course, the ones that aren't so expensive, like the 4 p.m., um, they call it, you know, you know get, getting your feet wet, just starting stuff. And I actually been able to play with this one a little bit more um, than I ever have, and kind of get the feel of what this one does versus um, the 7PXR. And I can kind of give you guys the feedback of really what need, what you need and what you don't need, and then some of the pros and cons for both radios. So anyways, um, stay tuned. We'll go through through more of the fine detail throughout the video, and let's go. Alrighty, so as you can see right here, I have the Fataba T4PM. Um, I, this, I got this radio because I started getting a little bit more into like the RTR stuff, the crawler, um, and like you know, the play stuff, and I kind of wanted to get the feeling my feet wet with a radio that I wasn't normally um, used to using, and I want to see what it was on the other side of the spectrum for the people that are getting into the hobby of what radio that they would, you know, want to choose over um, with being on a budget. And this radio is just over $200, uh, which is super reasonable compared to the other competitors out there on the market. Um, before I go into further detail, I really want to explain that this is not a sales pitch. I do not want to make you guys feel that I'm only talking about uh, one particular brand because I've read them all. I've had great success with the other ones on the market and the other ones that, the other people that run the other brand radios like Sam Wall, KO Pro Pro, whatever it may be. Um, the other radios are also very good and they're all pretty comparable with each other. The one thing that I will say is the customer service, the on-hand support in here in America being, uh, Fataba being out of, um, uh, here in the US is super awesome and super thankful that they they are here and if you need to get something taken care of They're here for you um, But anyways, I'm just gonna show, put that out there and I want to make sure that um, This isn't something that's you know, a biased video because I will say all the other radios out there are very good But some have their pros and cons and this is the video of what I'm gonna be explaining so with that being said, I can kind of go into further detail of what I think about this thing. And honestly, I was pretty stoked on unboxing this puppy, feeling the ergonomics of how the, the steering wheel feels, the spring, the throttle compared to like quote unquote the race style radio. Um, and this thing is just over $200, comes with a nice receiver. Um, and the receivers are pretty reasonable. And the one thing that I will say about um, the functionality between the both radios, which I would like to do a pros and cons towards the end of the video, but I was actually quite surprised on how uniform the sense of screen is not a touch screen versus the 7PRX. This is kind of like a, a little um, toggle with some buttons for plus and minus to change the um, EPAs or sub trims and so forth. And I will say it is a little bit more difficult to use than the touch screen. But at the same time, given the circumstances of um, being the price point that's at, is actually very awesome compared to the ones that are on the market. Um, you know, like I said earlier um, from the intro, is you know the people that are coming into the hobby and want to get their feet wet with feet wet with a good reliable radio. Um, this is just what you really need right here. And the one thing that I will say is. 
it's never too late to, it's never too questionable to say is, well, I, I don't want to have um, to buy a $500 or $600 radio if I'm never going to use those settings. And that's totally understandable because the things, they, some of these radios are super expensive, but at the same time, um, you get reliability and um, the comfort of how it feels in your hand. It really depends on what you're really using it for. If you're going to throw this thing you know, on the ground or, you know, on the table and say, you know, oh, I'm done for the day with my RC stuff, then I would say the 4 p.m. is definitely the way to go. But if you really want to get in tune with your cars and figure out what you want to do with it, setting setup wise, um, then maybe this is not the radio that you need. This is something that, you know, if you are going to play with your Traxxas stuff, your associated vehicles, your element cars, um, whatever it may be, then, then I would definitely recommend the 4 p.m. And the one thing that's, I get that I see a lot is the people that do end up buying one of these or the 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 tier down from the top they always 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 90% of the time end up buying the top tier one after they purchase this um, and it's tough to say because you're not sure if you're gonna be in the hobby for so long and you know you're not really sure if you're gonna like it or not and that's totally understandable it's all learning experience. I kind of went and did my thing. I used to run the DX7R um, Spectrum or whatever it is back in the day, and I bought like the lower tier one. It had some issues or whatever it may be. But anyways, um, yeah, I was super happy with this 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 thing, and um, I'm going to be actually continue to use this for my, my crawler stuff and my RTR stuff, like the dragster that Associated just came out with. So I'll be using this, and if anybody that has any questions... Um, about this particular radio, I will do my best to go through the comments or you can message me on my Facebook of um, anything that I've learned through this. And then we're going to go through on and talk about the 7PXR and um, come the, the the pros and cons about that um, versus this one. So let's get on to that. Alrighty, so as you can see right here, I got the uh, brand new 7PXR remote control from Fataba. Um, as I was going through talking about the 4 p.m. earlier in the video and really um, basically what I've been really loving about this radio um, specifically for my race cars um, and before I go further I will say that you don't have to get this radio just for the racing side of things you can do you still can get it for the dragsters the element you know rock crawling stuff um, whatever you like to do on the side um, but the biggest thing that I like about this radio is just this touchpad screen, the ergonomics of how it feels, the nice grip, and the, the button layout format of how easy it is to navigate through um, the buttons. And of course, like I said, with the touch screen, um, this thing's pretty badass when it comes to just having the easy of the, how easy it is to use. And I can't stress to people enough, um, when they get something that it's maybe overqualified, overqualified for them to use, um, given that this has way too much features for you to even understand how it actually functions. And I definitely don't like um, hearing that slang or statement because I think that's totally false. Um, I want to get something that getting into this hobby that's super easy for me to use, understand it, and not be so overwhelmed with all the settings. And even though that this has all those settings that are um, that you maybe never use, but just the simple ones to just navigate the sub trim, the EPAs, the steering servo speed, the throttle servo speed, uh, just navigating through through the touchscreen monitor as you can see above me um, uh, of a live live view. But you know the cool features about you can personalize it a little bit with you know the the different lighting of the lamp, you know purple, green, um, blue, uh, whatever it may be. Um, it's just the small stuff that really add up to you know make it you know what it is. The price tag on this thing is a little bit over five ninety nine. Um, like I said earlier, you know, with the receivers being a little bit cheaper than everything else on the uh, the other competitors on the market, it ends up balancing out. Uh, but at the same time, you get a quality product. You get something that's reliable, easy to use, which I can't stress to you guys enough of just understanding you know um, what to do and how to do it, and just so straightforward. It's like using your iPhone or whatever um, you know you like using on a regular basis for you know the technology and some of the stuff is a little bit you know overwhelming and you know you get a little scared of just you know getting yourself something that you, you're not going to think you're going to use um, 
And uh, about that, I just I just think that it's hands down the best radio that I've ever used as far as just being easy to use. It works very well. And pros like myself, Adam Drake, Ryan Lutz, and many others uh, like Jackson Brunson, Alex Skosushik, and hopefully I said that right. I think he'll probably end up not watching this video and he'll he'll be upset that I said it wrong. But anyways, um, other than that, I, I really I really want you guys to, to check this out. Um, like I said earlier, this isn't a sales pitch video. Uh, this is my opinion on all the radios that I've ran. I've ran Samwa, I ran the Fataba stuff, and the biggest thing that I found was the customer support being on hand here in the States and how easy it is to use and the availability for product um, is typically there. Obviously, with this brand new uh, 7PXR, um, they've been back ordered for quite some time now. When they got their couple batches in, they sold out right away. Um, I know I talked to them in the shop, uh, Nick. Um, he was saying that they're coming in as soon as possible. I mean, with, with what's going on in the world with this um, uh, issue we're having, um, it's been a little bit of a problem for getting products in here to the States. But um, hopefully I kind of covered some of the basis of what I think about uh, the radios. Um, you know, earlier I was talking about, you know, which one's going to be best for what. And I think you'll really find that, you know, being a more a veteran um, driver or hobbyist, you know, you'll find yourself getting um, a little bit higher up of a quality radio given, um, you know, what budget you're on. Uh, but the other radio is very good too. I was actually playing with it with my element stuff, the crawler side. I'm, I'm going to be, you know, getting my feet wet with the drag racing stuff. And I'm looking forward to, to using that radio to kind of feel it out. Um, versus this radio just to kind of get a different perspective of things um, So I'm pretty pumped uh, Other than that if you guys would really like this video, please give it a thumbs up I know um, a lot of you that have put the, 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 the notification bell on to see my latest videos has been really helpful and um, It just helps out my channel um, a little bit more to give you guys some better, you know quality content um, in the future, so thank you for that so Tune in. We'll see you on the next one and have a good day. Thanks.